Welcome back, this is Yamit Jacks. We got Ashwood Asylum Gunslinger Suicidal. I just went and had a shower. Uh, I haven't had dinner yet, but I'm making dinner currently. I got some uh, some rice in a, in a rice cooker First at the moment. Rice cookers are so Get good, man. Cold. I'm golden. My uh, a friend of mine was talking while I was uh, while I was making dinner about um, actually. Hold up, hold up. I I have uh, big news for me, not for you. Uh, my mother's actually working uh, a night shift tonight. She's working until nine o'clock. Normally, I have to be quiet by eight o'clock. Like that's the time that she's asleep, let alone home from work and making noise and getting in my way. Um, but she is she is working until nine o'clock tonight, uh, which is to say that she's probably not going to be asleep until nine thirty ten at the latest. Uh, so I've got like I got time to record uh, videos, you know. I, I don't I don't normally have this much time at night to uh, to record. I have to finish up and then this is this is the time when I, I want to be up and doing things really um, I feel good now after I've showered and not quite eaten dinner but you know after I've eaten dinner I'll I'll feel even better it's eight o'clock right now well 7 30 1934 on my on my clock here and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's it's really 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 nice I'm not sure if she's gonna be working night shifts not like graveyards, but like evening shifts, you know? Like uh, evening shifts. I'm not sure if she's going to be working those until... Uh, like, like going forward, if that's going to be what her shift is, or if she's just doing it today or whatever. I'm going to have to find out. Um, because if she's going to be moving over to an evening shift, then that's going to change my schedule for streaming a whole heck of a lot. Well, for recording anyway. The stream will be the same time. Um, but the, the recording time... Uh, it's going to change if, uh, if she's working evening shifts instead because I can record after the stream and have uh, not have to be so panicked and uh, it's a lot more relaxed. But I've got the other uh, rice in the rice cooker right now so we do have to keep this episode a little bit on the shorter side. I'm not going to go for a 36 minute episode today but maybe about uh, 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. I got to go and check my rice after this. I mean, it's pretty much fine as long as I you know, check on it in the next hour but it does make a difference when you get there... Uh, at the right time rather than the wrong time. It does make uh, something of a difference. Plus, you know, there's the other uh, part, which is this. I'm hungry, dude. But uh, I've got to, uh, got some trans friends. I got I got friends who are uh, who are trans, and uh, I myself am trans as well. And uh, one thing that's uh, that's quite common. Is, uh, is you'll see like pictures of, uh, of of people of your desired, well not your desired, but of your uh, of your uh, I don't know what the right word is. I don't I don't stay with it with all of the the lingo, but um, of uh, of whatever you really are. You'll see pictures of uh, if you're if you're a trans woman, you'll see pictures of women. If you're trans man, you'll see pictures of men, and uh, and so on, right? And uh, every now and then, you'll see one that's just like life goals right and uh it's something that happens i've never seen a, a trans person who, who who hasn't had this happen ever and at a certain point it goes away right at a certain point you're content with your life and and seeing other people you're like wow they look happy i'm also happy you know but uh, earlier on in your transition before you're at the point where you're, where you're really content uh, in every respect that uh, you'll see pictures of people and uh, you'll be like man i want to be them like i just I just want to be that person, you know. And uh, it's always it's always funny because it's always the like nicest taking pictures and um, the happiest looking people, and it's those pictures that uh, that make you like, yeah, I hate this picture because it just makes me feel bad. So it's it's uh, it's this like weird phenomenon with uh, with trans people where you really really love to look at uh, at pictures of pretty people of. Uh, of your, you know, output gender, <laughs> we'll say. Uh, but then you also really, really hate them, and uh, I don't know. I find it, I find it kind of funny at times. Um, but uh, yeah, she, uh, the, the person I was talking to, she just uh, experienced it for the first time, and I'm like, "Welcome to the, uh, welcome to, the, welcome to your new life. This is, uh, this is you now." And it goes away over time as you get uh, happier with yourself. Like I don't really get it too bad anymore just because like yeah you know, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty content with myself but uh, every now and then you know just uh, you see the the right picture that is exactly what you want in your life and it's like 
Yeah, I want to be that. <laughs> yeah, I want. I want that in my life. It's like this intense jealousy that stems from it, and it's. Uh, I wouldn't say it's disruptive because to me, like, it's not. But I'm sure that some uh, some people find it disruptive, and some people don't like it. I, I I personally I can separate the, you know, me being jealous about something to to me also recognizing it as a as a good picture and being happy for for the people that are that are looking happy in their picture, right? But uh, it's definitely it's definitely there, and it's uh it's prominent with uh, with all. That's why you see a lot of um like a lot of trans women will share pictures of pretty women. A lot of trans guys share pictures of uh, you know attractive men, handsome men, and um, it's not because they're like. Yeah, they might be like a straight woman, but they're sharing, they're mostly looking at pictures of women. It's just because that's that's you know it's like goals, it's life goals. You know, it's, it's they want to be that, they want to work towards that. You know, and everybody's different. So if you have uh, unrealistic expectations of it, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you're gonna be disappointed for the rest of your life because uh, you're never, well, not never, but um, you know, some people just you know, it doesn't work. You can't you can't do that. Um, so you gotta you gotta be happy with what you got. And uh, learning how to do that is a big part of uh, of growing up, I feel, personally. It was on the radio, actually, a while back. Um, they were talking about, uh, like, at what age did uh, did their listeners stop caring what, what, about what other people thought and just were happy to, to be themselves and, and uh, just very content with their lives and, and didn't really worry about, uh, about anything else. They were just like, yeah, I have a good life and, and I'm fine with this. This is fine. Um, and it's usually around the like 40 to, to 50 range, at least in my area, when uh, when people go from like being self-conscious about things and and um, having issues with with uh, you know their their body and, and stuff, and then uh, you know it's like one day they just wake up and they're like, I don't care, I just don't care, you know. And uh, I'm not at that point yet because I do care, but I feel like I'm I'm close. I don't. Uh, I don't really mind so much what what other people think, but it does affect you, you know. It does affect you. It definitely does, especially when you're. Um, that is a billion crawlers. Uh, especially when you're. Uh, well, I don't, I don't really want to say especially, but. Um, yeah, and I'll say especially, especially when you're you're in a in a minority that's uh that's like abused and. Um, like uh, harassed and bullied, like uh, like there there are a lot of them. Um, because then it just it feels really bad because not only are people like you got you know, there there there's like subtle hits on people, right? That uh, the people who think they're being very polite uh, will do to you, and it, it makes you feel bad, right? They're like, oh, you look really pretty for a trans person. I'm like, look, look, <laughs> look. Look, I love your hair. I'm like, well, actually, I like that one. I'm happy to get that. But like, you know, they, 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 it's just, uh, it's like all these like backhanded compliments that uh, the people will do often, and uh, you know, they think they're being nice and they think they're being, they're they're like raising my confidence, being like, wow, you look so great, you know, and they're like picking out all the bits that are that are feminine. I'm like, all you're doing is uh, is singling out all the parts that that that, that aren't, you know, like. You're not really, you're not really doing a, a great job of it, but, um, you know, people, people will do that all the time for everybody. You know, it always happens. You know, you, you got like a broken arm. You're like, wow, your left arm is at least so strong. It's like, yeah, but like, I can't do anything with my right arm, so it doesn't really mean anything. I can't use it. I don't know. People, uh... And it's like you can't really get mad at them so much because they think they're being nice and they're trying to be nice. You know, it's the intent behind it that uh, that really matters the most for me personally, anyway. But people do it real bad sometimes. They do it real bad, and I, I, I'm uh, I'm not uh, excluded from that. I'm probably particularly bad. I'm uh, I'm, I'm quite oblivious. Um, but you know, it's just uh, it's just what happens, and so um, you know, it can be hard at times to to listen to people point out the things they don't like about you and it can be difficult to uh to do that but you know at a certain point you get past that right and uh then you're happy but that's that's where it really is you know you never people you can you can put as much work as you want to get to a specific goal but you know, if your goals are unreasonable to begin with you're never gonna make it then you're never gonna be happy you know 
It's not like you have to uh, lower your goals any either, right? Like if you have, uh, if you have, you know, uh, what's the word? I'm, I'm thinking arrogant, but it's not arrogant. It's uh, ambitious aspirations, right? If you have ambitious aspirations, then um, that's great. You know, have have your ambitious aspirations, but you you you've also kind of to a certain extent got to be able to curb those expectations uh, if if, uh, if it's something that's that's a little bit unreasonable because um, you know if you're never gonna be happy until you get the best then. Well, you're, you're not going to be happy for a long time, right? And it's not like you can just do that either. You can't just like, yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy now. I've decided that I'm happy now. You know, you can't really just do that. But you got to actually like change something at least, right? If you're not happy, something's got to change. Might be, you know, medicine. Might be a chemical imbalance. Who knows what it is, but... Anyway, moral of the story is uh, see pretty girl get very upset. <laughs> I don't know. It used to be way worse for me before I, uh... Like, I'm a lot happier with myself now. I'm a lot more content and, uh... You know, just, just, just happy in general. And it used to be way, way worse for me when I would, when I would see... You know, pictures of pretty girls being like... I went for a hike today or, or you know, whatever else. You know, on, on, picture, on r slash pictures or something. And, uh... It'd be like, well... I really want to be that. I want that. I want that in my... I want to, I want to, I want to be that, you know? And... Uh, to a certain, I don't know. It's like uh, it's like a change in my perspective. I used to want to like, I, mean, I, I kind of still do want to like magically just be in that kind of position. But uh, you know, I also want to like work towards it. You know, rather than being something that I'm envious of, I'm uh, I, I I use it as motivation to uh, to to better myself and and uh, and progress towards the the things that uh, that I would otherwise envy. And uh, I think that's better, generally. You know, use uh, use the uh, the jealousy and the uh, the desire and the longing for uh, for a specific thing, and, and take that and uh, use it for your motivation to work towards uh, it as best as you can. Anyway, that's what I do. Which right now is uh, not going so great, but uh, September is, is a new thing. This weekend is going to be my first. Uh, Grocery shopping trip? Well, not really. I don't have my fridge. If I get my fridge, then it is. But if I don't, then I don't have a fridge. So, but I want to go shopping once a week on like Saturdays or Sundays. Um, just I think it'll be easiest. Get all the stuff I need for the week, toss it in my new fridge, which will be coming soon, and then uh, you know be able to control my diet a little bit easier that way and get to onto the weight loss and and all that. It's also kind of funny because uh, being on hormones, I'm putting on fat. Um, just because, like, there are there there are these uh, at the very least two large uh, basins of, uh, of fat around the uh, the upper chest area at the at the very least, you know. And uh, you know, I'd say it's it's a lot of weight, but it's uh, it's definitely enough that uh, I think that you know if you if you take like a, a while to to kind of like maintain your weight and then. Um, you kind of end up being there. I think I think you've lost weight by the end of it because you've got uh, you're you're holding uh, more desired fat at least. You know what I mean? See ya. That was a sick Edar kill. Anyway, working on the weight loss. It's it's it's, uh, it's coming. It's coming. COVID's kind of put a stopper to to a lot of my plans. Came with a lot of depression. Um, the YouTube series has kind of helped me with that. Honestly, I was pretty depressed at the start of it, and now I'm not. So, like, that's pretty sweet. Um, streaming's helping a lot as well. I mean, streaming is helping a lot with the diet just because I have less time to like munch on stuff. So I don't, I don't, I don't munch on things because uh, like I have time to go make lunch at lunchtime, and then I have time to go make dinner at dinner time, and that's that's when I eat basically, you know. So I, I just I get enough for that. So it's kind of helping, just because uh, I'm losing the time. I don't have the time to, to eat so much, you know? Back before when I was, uh, you know, jobless and didn't have responsibilities and stuff, it was I had a lot more free time, and I guess I spent a lot of that free time eating. Uh, whereas now, I have a lot less free time, and uh, as, as a result, I, I spend less of my time, in general, uh, doing things that I don't want to. So, you're making a, making a point of, uh, of spending my time wisely. Um... 
means that I spend my time more wisely. It, it, it's as obvious as it sounds. It's uh, it's a nice change, nonetheless. You like being chewed into pieces? It's actually like it's it's weird because I have to like make a point of eating. <laughs> I have to I have to go out of my way to make sure I'm eating, uh, rather than like before I started streaming and uh, making videos where I would like be constantly eating like all the time. Like I would I would. Have a little bit of free time, I'd go upstairs and, and munch on something. And, uh, you know, I started streaming and now it's like, I forget to eat. And by, it, it ends up, it's, uh, it's happened like, uh, once already. It's like, I've been doing it for a week, right? Like, one, one time in, in three days is, is quite significant. Um, but, uh, it happened, it happened once where, um, I, I, I completely forgot to eat for, for the day. Like, I, uh, I recorded, I streamed, and, I just, I didn't, I didn't eat. <laughs> I didn't eat. Um, I ended up ordering some food. Uh, late at night, because I couldn't make food. So I had to order, but, uh, I guess that's, that's, that's why I have to make it, because ordering food is neither healthy nor financially viable. Um, so I have to make, like, a, a point of eating, which is, uh, also not desirable. I, th I feel like that's kind of, like, going in the opposite direction <laughs> of, uh, what I had before, you know? Um, that's, that's stepping into, like, uh, like, almost eating disorder territory, you know? Maybe what I had before was eating disorder too. Who knows? Um, but uh, I don't know. I think it probably would be. If you're if you're eating so much that you're like in an unhealthy state, I think that that's probably an eating disorder. But I don't really know what what's classified as an eating disorder and what isn't. That's sick. But uh, you know, it's going it's going the opposite direction now, right? To to the entire office. Like I'm like actually starving right now, and I'm recording and like. If I, if I didn't make it a point to go and make dinner and then eat dinner, I, I probably wouldn't have, have made rice. Like, I, I would have just recorded and, you know, would have taken a break at uh, on RuneScape or Gunfire Reborn or something and then uh, hopped into some more recording. Had a shower, maybe, and hopped into some more recording. But I, I, I had to kind of, like, take myself out of it to, to make sure I, I ate something. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't have. It's 8 o'clock almost, and I haven't eaten. I had a bit of a lunch. I had uh, an egg and some bacon for for lunch. A piece of bacon and an egg. It was uh, it was a good lunch, but it's not it's not enough to, to to be you know sustenance for a day, right? So I'm gonna go make a bit of a stir fry kind of thing, and uh, that'll be that'll be my food for for today. Okay, I'm just gonna stand still and hope they come to me. You be dead. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's bizarre because I, it's been a while since I've forgotten to eat, you know? With all my free time, I, like, I would, I would be eating when I wasn't hungry, you know? I would, I would eat just because I was bored. And, uh, starting the streaming is, uh, is, has taken that away from me, just forcefully. It's, it's ripped it away. I don't have the time to do that. Which is, uh, which is an amazing improvement to me, and, and, and uh, it's definitely going to be... Really, really good for for my uh, my future uh, mental health and then my, my future physical health as well, of course. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting into like full time streaming and YouTubing uh, as like a weight loss strategy uh, because I, I don't think it is. Obviously, it's not. Um, but like you have to spend so much time, right? Like it's it's it's. The, the, the point of it is that it's taking up like all of my time um, to where I, I don't even remember to eat. That's like, you know, unhealthy work hours, right? Although I, I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm tired by the end of it, but I don't, uh, I don't feel like I'm overworking myself at all. And that's uh, going to go down anyway, so I'll have to add more work in, but as I get better at it and more consistent, you know, I really have to get some water. Hold up. Oh yeah, nice big glug of water. It's gonna help a lot. My, uh, I might have to like clear my throat a lot because it's just like dying. That's what I get for doing you know three hours of streaming and then uh, recording and all that today as well. So I mean, that's just this is the new state of my voice, right? I have to I have to be careful with it. I have to treat it well and make sure I'm I'm doing what I can to uh, to keep it uh, healthy and alive and. Uh, make sure I'm paying attention to it and 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 giving it the uh, the love that it needs. 
That's the other thing is, uh, you know, going from, uh, well, I'm going from, you know, overeating to, to undereating by a lot, um, to, uh, and um, I'm going from, like, not talking at all to talking way more than the average person, you know? And uh, it's kind of uh, two extremes to, to two different extremes. But, you know, hey. I, I think it's all pretty good stuff. I think that the uh, the weight loss is going to be really, really nice from it. I just I have to, to make sure that I'm, I'm focusing on actually eating. Um, because I, I could very easily go like a day or two without eating anything just because I'm, I'm recording so much and streaming so much. And it just kind of slips my mind, you know? And... Uh, so I have to, I have to kind of like schedule the, the 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 meals in because otherwise I'm I'm not gonna eat them. Which is, uh, you know, if I wasn't able to do that, if I wasn't able to to take a break from it and force myself to have something to eat, then I feel like it would be really really bad for me. I'd be I'd be losing weight at an unhealthy rate, and uh, that's not what you want either, right? You wanna you wanna have a nice balance between the two. And uh, that's definitely not what I'd be getting if uh, if I didn't have the uh, the willpower and the the the, the self awareness to, to be able to handle the situation, which is why I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, full time streaming and YouTubing as a, as a weight loss for the for, in the first place. It might not even be that great because your problem might be different than mine, and and uh, what's causing it might be different than uh, than what was causing my overeating problem. But at the very least, it has worked for me so far i mean we're, we're three days in and just because of that i'm not sure i'll, I'll stop like I, I really 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 would love to be able to keep it up as a, as a full-time job because uh not only is it so much fun it's, it's having such a, a huge impact on my uh, on my like weight and uh, physical health um and it's giving me like more reason to, to get out and go for walks and stuff because i don't want a game anymore you know like when you play games for eight hours a day as a job, games kind of start to lose a lot of their, uh, and it's not even, I haven't even been doing it that long, uh, but they start to lose a little bit of their, uh, their wonder, you know? I could do with some ammo. So having, having a break to go do something else that every now and then is nice. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.